Okay, assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon. So let's have a look at a few examples on what plot. Okay, the first one, let's have a look at um, a transfer function given by this equation. So in order to plot a bot plot, so first you need to write down the equation into a standard form. So in which you need to have the constant and also uh, the component with s outside or inside the bracket. So this is for the constant k naught. So the equation you have to factorize the equation so that the s will be uh, added by one. Okay. So in this case we took out the hundred as the factor. So the equation yields s divided by 50 plus 1 in the bracket. So now the 100 will be included in the constant equation. So in this case, so you get the standard form transfer function with k0 as the constant and you have the components uh, on top and at the bottom. So next, you need to write down the individual transfer function. So first, we have the constant 20 log 10 of the constant 1 over 100 equal to minus 40 dB. Next, we do look at the uh, numerator. We don't have any S or outside the bracket or inside the bracket. So no zeros. So followed by... Uh, the the uh, denominator uh, nominator. so there's no s outside the bracket so no poles at origin so you only have single s inside the bracket so you have poles at 50 so this is don't forget for poles equation so it must be 1 divided by the component s divided by 50 plus 1 so you have one poles or real poles at 50. Okay, next, let's sketch individual components based on the individual transfer function that you have derived earlier. So, first one start with constant. So, you have you need to sketch both the magnitude and the phase plot. So, for constant negative 40 dB. So this is H1S, so you have negative 40 dB, so you just have a constant of um, K0 in dB, so it is negative 40. And in terms of the uh, phase plot, theta 1. So when it is a constant, so the phase will be zero across the omega values. Okay, next move on to the second component that we have, real poles at at fifty. So first one for real poles, you have zero until fifty. So for the magnitude. So it pulls, so it, it is decreasing negative 20 dB per decade. So until 50. So you have 0 until 50, and then you have negative 20 dB per decade. Slow. Okay, so this is your H2S magnitude across omega values. And about the phase. So when it is pulled, so again, negative trend. So at 50, it must be negative 45. And then you extend the graph to the earlier decade and the next decade. And the rest will be 0. So this is your theta 2. So this is negative 90 and here is 0 and here is omega. And finally, you need to sum the plot. 
So in order to sum the plot, so you need to combine all uh, sketching inside one graph. So this is for the magnitude plot. Okay, so you can break the section into decade. Okay, so for start with the constant, you have negative 40 dB. Negative, here is negative 20. Here is negative 40. So you have negative 40 dB line. So this is your H1S the constant and then you have the uh, real pulse h2s okay so it is 50 so you can start here with um, maybe 5 and then here is 50 and here is 500 and so on so here is 0 0.5 okay so it's 0 until 50 and then decrease by 20 dB per decade. So 20 dB for the first decade, second one, and so on. Okay, so this is your H2 as lined. Okay, next, sum them up. Okay, to sum them up, you need to look at the reference line. So the first reference line is at zero. And then you total the lines by the gate. Okay, so the first one look at from 0 0.5 to 5, 0 0.5 to 5. So you have a zero slope. This is zero value, and then plus negative 40. So zero plus negative 40 equal to negative 40. Okay, same goes to 5 to 50. Okay, so then from 50 to 500. Okay, so you see there's uh, negative 40. And then you have the decreasing slope. Okay, so you can look at the end point at this point. So it is negative 20 plus negative 40 for this negative 60 so negative 60 somewhere here negative 60 so the line will go drop down until negative 60 so the same trend continues onwards okay so this is the summation the magnitude summation of the transfer function Okay, so this is your H S, the main transfer function. Okay, so this is the magnitude plot of H S. Okay, how about the phase plot? So now the phase plot, you have a zero. Okay, yeah, it's zero. It's omega. So this is for the theta. Okay, uh, you have zero for the constant and then you have only one line for pulse at 50. So here use the same line, it will be much easier. So here is 50, so at 50 it is negative 45. Okay, so and then extend to earlier and next decade. So negative 90. So it's negative 90 and extend to earlier decade. So you will get the green one. Okay. And this is your phase plot for the given transfer function. Okay, let's look at the uh, second example. So given the transfer function as the equation shown. So Again, to plot a bot plot, you need to write rewrite the equation into standard form. Okay, in standard form, you need to break the components into constant and the s components. 
right so this is for the constant k naught so you will see s ten as a constant here and then you have single s meaning you have zeros at origin and then at the bottom inside the bracket all s must be added by one okay so the first one s divided by one plus one so this is a uh, pulse at one and then the second one you need to factorize 100 because you need to have s plus one so factorize 100 so the component become s divided by 100 plus one so now you need to move all constant values into constant equation so finally this is the standard form of the given transfer function so you have the constant and the components both uh, on top and at the bottom so next you need to rewrite individual transfer function so first you have the constant 20 log of your k naught so k naught in this case is 100 uh, 10 divided by 100 go to negative 20 db and then move on to the next uh, s on top so there's no bracket so you know it is zeros at origin yeah, sorry supposed to be zeros at origin okay so this is zeros at origin and this transfer function for this uh, component is h2s equal to s followed by the third component so you have poles at one so real poles at one so this is not although it is crossing at one but it is uh, not equal to pulse at origin because when you have pulse at origin the equation will be one over s only okay so next you have the fourth component so s divided by 100 so you have pulse at 100 okay now let's sketch individual component Okay, so the first one is the constant, so negative 20 dB, so you sketch negative 20 dB constant, so this is your H1S, negative 20, and for constant, the phase will be 0, and then for H2, add the second component, H2S equals equal to s so zeros at origin so when it is zeros at origin you have the positive slope by 20 db per decade crossing at one so we can assume something like this okay so 20 db per decade so so here is negative 20 here is 20 db per decade and when you have zeros at origin, the phase will be constant 90 degree. Okay, so the third component, you have pulse at 1. So pulse at 1. So the line will be zeros until 1. And it is pulse, so it's going down by 20 dB per decade. And then for real poles, so poles, it is negative 45 degree at 1. Extend to the earlier position and next decade. And the rest will be 0. Okay. And lastly, H4, you have poles at 100. So it will be 0 until 100. So poles downtrend, so it's going down by negative 20 dB per decade. And how about, about the uh, phase at that frequency, so it is negative 45, extend to the earlier and next decade. And the rest will be zero. So here is negative 90, negative 45, and 0. So maximum is negative 90 degree. Okay. So once you have all the uh, individual uh, plots, then you need to sum them up.
Let's sum the magnitude of the transfer function. So you need to uh, sketch individual transfer function in the same graph before you can sum them up. Okay, start with H1S. So it's a constant of negative 20 dB. So this is H1S. And then you have H2S equal to S. So it is zeros at origin. So origin is 1. So the line crossing at 1 with positive 20 dB. So this is H2S and then H3 you have the pulse at 1 so meaning that you can mark at 1 so pulse 0 until 1 and then you have pulse negative 20 dB slope so this is h3 and then h4 you have um, pulse at 100 so mark 100 so it's 0 until 100 and then negative 20 db slope down there okay so this is h4 so in order to sum them up so you need to look at point by point and total the uh, magnitude of the uh, component crossing at the same omega okay look at the first one okay so at omega equal to 0 0.01 okay so you have the first one is 0 omega 0 0.01 so you have 0 plus the yellow one plus negative 20 and then plus the blue line negative 40 so it is negative 60 so mark negative 60 and then at 0 0.1 okay at 0 0.1 so you have uh, this line so it's 0 plus you have the blue lines the magnitude is negative 20 and then you have the yellow one line is negative 20 so it is negative 40 and then at 1 so at 1 here okay so you have magnitude of 0 plus crossing at 1 so negative 20 so it is negative 20 at 10 so you have crossing at 10 so you have here is 20 plus here is 0 plus negative 20 okay uh, negative 20 for the yellow line and you have another one the purple one negative 20 plus negative 20 so altogether 20 20 is negative 20 so it's negative 20 again okay at 100 at 100 you have this one okay so you have 40 plus 0 plus negative 20 plus you have the purple one is negative 40 negative 40 so it is negative 20 and then at thousand at thousand so again you have here predicate so it is 60 plus the yellow line negative 20 plus the green line is negative 20 and then plus the purple line negative 60 so negative 40 negative 40 so negative 40 and then you will see that the trend goes on so you can see the same decrement right so that then just 
connect the submission. So you get the black one as the submission of the individual transfer function. And this is your HS. Okay, now let's sketch the summation of the phase plot. So again, you need to uh, sketch individual phase uh, plot on the same diagram. So first one, you have the constant. So it is zero degree. This is H1S. And then H2S, it is um, zero set origin. So it's 90 degree constant. And then you have pulse at 1, so at 1, it must be 45 degree. Uh, it pulls, so it's negative 45 degree. And then extended before and after. And the rest will be 0. And lastly, the first one, uh, another pulse at, at 100. So at 100, it must be negative 45 extended to the previous decade and next decade 1000 is there okay so and then previous and after must always be zero okay so now let's sum them up just as the magnitude submission so you need to consider point by point start at omega equal to 0 0.01 so let's use uh, purple colored for the submission. So at omega equal to 0 0.01, you have 90 degree. And then plus 0 degree. So it's 90 degree. And then at 0 0.1, you have 90 degree plus 0 again 90 degree. And then at 1, omega equal to 1, you have 90 degree. And then plus 0 is 90 degree. Minus 45 so is positive 45. Okay, and at 10, you have 90 degree. And then plus 0, minus 90, so you get 0. And then at 100, it's 90 degree. Plus 0 is 90. Minus 45 is 45. And then minus 90. It's minus 45. Okay, look again at 100. It's 90 degree plus 0 plus minus 45 plus minus 90. So here, so it's minus 45. And then at 1000, at 1000. You have 90 degree plus 0 and then 90 degree plus 0 and then minus 90 and then minus 90 again plus minus 90. Why 290? Because you have the dark blue lines minus 90 and the light blue color minus 90. So you get minus 90. Okay, so now connect them all. Okay, there you are. All right, so next, if you continue until next cycle, 10,000, so it's 90 plus 0, minus 90, minus 90, and it keeps minus 90 onwards. So then it's constant over there. So this is the purple one is your HS. Okay, this slide basically uh, represents the same example as earlier, but this is when you draw, okay, when the question asks you to draw a board plot, meaning that you need to use 
uh, logarithmic uh, graph paper. Okay, if the question asks you to sketch, so you can use earlier technique. Okay, just sketching in blank page. But if the question asks you to draw a plot, a board plot, so you need to use a, gra a logarithmic um, graph paper to plot. Okay, so don't forget that uh, the logarithmic paper uh, divides uh, the uh, section by decades. Okay, so first label the x-axis, the omega, by decades. So you can just uh, adjust either to start with 0 0.01 or you can start at 0 and so on. But it will be much easier if you separate them by decades from the beginning. Alright, so next, draw the constant, okay, the k, and then you have the zeros. You have zeros at origin, okay, crossing at one, and then you have poles at one, okay, and lastly you have poles at hundred, okay. Finally, sum them up, okay, just as the uh, the one that I have discussed earlier, but in this case you use the uh, logarithmic paper, okay. Same goes to the magnitude plot. First, you need to uh, Define the x-axis, the omega, indicate, and then plot the uh, uh, zeros at origin is constant 90 degree, and then you have pulse at 1, so it's crossing uh, minus 45 at 1, another one pulse at 100, it's 45, minus 45 degree at 100. Finally, you total them up. Okay, let's have another example, example 3. So as usual, you need to write the equation in standard form. Okay, secondly, you need to uh, write individual transfer function. And thirdly, you need to sketch individual transfer function. Uh, or frequency response for you need to sum them up sum the magnitude and the phase okay so just use uh, the same step as previous example so I just briefly uh, discuss the standard form so HS this is the first step uh, equal to break them into uh, constant and then the components so make sure that all s must be added by one okay so here are the first one s divided by one plus one divided by the bottom one you have s single s so you have pulse at origin and then you have s divided by 100 plus 1 and don't forget to take out the 100 okay so in this case now you can write individual transfer function so h1s is the constant so 20 log of 10 over 100 so you get your answer in db Sec the third one, you have the first transfer function. Next, you have uh, zeros at 1. Okay, so you have zeros at 1, so the equation is s over 1 plus 1. The, the fourth one, you have at the bottom 1 over s, so this is poles at origin. So remember origin omega equal to 1 and then you have poles at 100 so h4s equal to 1 over s over 100 plus 1 okay so once we have all the individual transfer function then you need to sketch the um, 
frequency response for each individual component, both the magnitude and the uh, phase plot. And then finally, sum them up. Okay, if the question asks you to draw, then you need to use uh, logarithmic paper to, to uh, plot or to draw your board plot. Okay, this is basically the solution for example 3 using uh, log logarithmic paper. So you can compare with your sketching. So please complete, uh, complete the uh, board plot sketch before uh, you look at this uh, drawing. So first you have the constant and then you have zeros at 1. Okay, zeros at 1. So the line at 1. 0 before 1 and then positive 20 dB per decade from 1 onwards. And then you have pulse at origin. So pulse meaning that uh, decreasing uh, slope by 20 dB per decade crossing at 1. Okay, this is the pulse at origin. And lastly, you have the uh, pulse at 100. So at 100, pulse at 100. Finally, you sum them up. Okay. okay, same goes to the uh, phase plot. First, you have pulse at 100, so it's negative 45 degree at 100, extended to earlier decade and next decade. And then you have uh, pulse at origin, it's negative 90 degree, constant. And then you have constant, and you have zeros at uh, 1. So zeros at 1 is 45 degree positive at 1 and the rest extended to earlier decade and after, um, next decade and finally you total them up. Okay, this is another example uh, but just using sketching you just uh, sketch the board plot of the given transfer function. So this is the given transfer function. So as usual you need to derive uh, the individual transfer function and then um, sketch the individual frequency response and finally total them up. So this is basically sketching of all components and this is the submission of the magnitude plot and this is the sketching of the face of the individual components. You can see that H2, H3 and so on representing individual phase and this is the summation of the phase of the given plus function. Okay, please try this out. You can also draw the um, frequency response on the logarithmic paper. With that, thank you.